Hi everyone, this is Carla. Thanks for stopping by. Here in the Ozarks, we're actually having snow today. Can you believe that? It's supposed to have one to three inches. Started out with a little freezing rain, but it's not gonna be here very long. We are um, supposed to have really nice weather next week. The kids are on spring break this week from school, so I'm hoping we'll have some nice weather so we can get outside and do a few fun things. So anyway, why I wanted to get on here today is, oh, I've got my HSN Craft Fair Day haul for March 1st. And uh, Julie, I hope you're watching. I did get some really neat Anna Griffin stuff. And if you got some, you're going to have to let me know what you got to. So anyway, I'm going to start with, oh, I can't wait to use this. This is her collapsible birdhouse die. Now I want to take this out and show you what this is going to look like. I think this is the cutest thing, and it makes a card. I'll show you her little uh, idea sheet, and you can see how you can put this together to make a card. So here's the die itself, and the idea sheet shows you exactly how to put it together. And when it folds, it will fold flat and fit into an envelope. So here are some of the ideas she's shown. Aren't they pretty? Oh, I can't wait. And then on the inside, of course, you're going to get all your directions. Let's show you how to piece that and put it together. And to go with that, she has uh, come up with her all about birds and butterflies. And she's had this out before, but for this particular die, she has downsized them. So they're gonna be smaller and will be a little bit easier to work with when making this card. And so let's see what we've got in here. There's also, it looks like some sentiments in here too. Let's pull this out. Oh, and as usual, she gives you lots of goodies in here. We've got lots of foils. And the foils looks like we've got some flourishes. Let's see if there's anything different. Some really cute flourishes. We've got some butterflies, maybe. There we go. Different sizes of gold foiled butterflies. You can see those. Um, there's some of her, oh, uh, we've got some like little leaves that are foiled and also here's her flourishes. Yeah, those would be just the right size to go in that little birdhouse. Looks like more butterflies and flourishes in there. Different styles. And then we've got two packages. Oh, here are the birds and the butterflies that she's downsized. Oh, these are going to be so sweet. Because you got to have birds for a bird cage, and then just all the other little extra goodies that she gives you to put with it. Okay, these are mostly going to be, I think, the birds and maybe some little trims to go with it. There's a bird. Uh -huh. There's one. Oh, a little nest. And there we've got some more little birds, some colored little butterflies, kind of the half butterfly. Oops, there we go. <laughs> okay. So let's see what's in there. Lots of them. And we have over here, we have more butterflies and flowers. Let's see what kind of flowers we got. Well, there went half of them. <laughs> Slid right down into my cat's bed. Here's some little flowers. Oh, neat little butterflies. Looks like we've got a collection of kind of your yellows. Oh, here's some little pink roses. Pretty. Got under here some more little roses. Looks like some daisies. Let me grab these. They pretty much fell in a clump. <laughs> 
Okay, little butterflies. Oh good, we've got some lavender purple. I'm really kind of liking the lavender purple little accents. Oh, that's a pretty bird. You see that one, how sweet that is. Okay, I'm just gonna lay these over here a sec. Well, I think I'll just put them back. Oh, I see a bee. I like the bees. I've been thinking about doing some things with the bees. It's such a, a classic little uh, design and thing that people like to decorate with. I'm going to bend down here a second, pick up a few more of these. Oh my goodness. I even found a little dragonfly. If I can figure out what I did with him. He's just got some dragonflies in here. There's more of the purple that fell down. There's a piece of my, uh, if you saw me make my mesh wreath, these little things show up everywhere. Even though I have vacuumed and I have swept <laughs> with the broom, these little things will show up for a while. And I've got to make sure I get them up so my cat doesn't get a hold of them. I don't want her eating those. So, you know, bending down like that wasn't so bad. I have to tell you, I've been having some back issues. And so I went and had an MRI, gosh, that's been two, three weeks ago, and decided I have a bulging disc, arthritis, and a lot of inflammation in my lumbar spine area. So yesterday I went for a spinal injection, and I tell you what, I was dreading that so bad because... I don't know about you, but I've had injections in my shoulders before and in my hips and one in my hand, like for arthritis or whatever. And I tell you what, those were pretty painful, but I was expecting the worst with this. And I have to tell you, it really was not that bad at all. I really dreaded it and it wasn't that bad at all. It was uncomfortable, but it was not nearly as painful as some of the other injections that I have received. But anyway, back to our little birds and butterflies. She also sends you a package of cinnamons to go along with that. And these are just the right size too, not too big to go on that little bird cage. Because when you fold it up, you gotta make sure everything will still fit inside an envelope. So we'll put these over here. That little set and I ordered some of her Easter stickers. Now, I am hoping, Anna, please, 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 please come out with some different Easter designs next year. I think this is the fourth year I have used this design. Now, they may have been different sizes or they may have been flat compared to 3D, but I need different designs because I make a lot of cards and send them to a lot of different people or people want cards from me. And I need something different because I don't remember what they sold or what I sent to people. And so, you know, what they picked out. So I'm really hoping we'll get some different designs. I mean, these are absolutely beautiful. And I'm so thankful that she did offer them this year. So I can go ahead and get started on my Easter cards. And I'm getting ready for that. Let's just take a look at them. Because like I said, they are absolutely beautiful. Here's one with the little chicks on the egg. And if you have purchased these before, you, you've probably seen these. Somebody loves you. Those are sweet. Then we've got, this is a little fairy, I think. I think I see, that's either a leaf or large ears. So <laughs> I'm not sure. I think it's a fairy. It might be hair. I don't know, but it's cute. It's sweet. There's another one. There's one. That's a little different to me, but I know it was in a set. And I don't think I ordered the set last year because I had some left from previous years. Oh, there's a little girl and her bunny. A little bunny carriage and a little egg. And we've got some more little probably elves peeking out from the flowers. I love these little ones. Yeah, these do look maybe a little smaller. Like I said, I'm not sure she had these last year because I don't think I ordered any last year because I had some left over. And I love this 
still too. Isn't that the sweetest little thing? And she gives you so many, and I like this too. This is a fairy, and I like to see her. Looks like she's sitting on a, um, maybe a cushion with some ribbon coming down. First I thought it was a bird bath. I guess it could be. But you could set her up on a wall or something. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's see a few other things in here. Um, I love this. I remember this one, the Maypole, because when I was a little girl, our music teacher, every May we would have a program, and I went to a very small school, and we would all get to participate and wind a Maypole. And this one, ooh, I love that. I do love that. So I'm glad I've got that. So colorful. I think you could do a lot with that. Oh, and, and the bunny. Oh, give me some more bunnies next year. That's what I want, more bunnies. Look at this bunny. That little basket, that's as sweet as it can be. And this is Hip Hop Happy Easter. Sweet, sweet. And here is, we saw that one. But look at these little chicks. I just love these. And I, I'm just hoping she'll come up with more and maybe expand a little design. So here's a few more. Let's see what we got. Here we've got little chicks on an egg. That's sweet. Very sweet. Little bunny rabbit. Looks like he's keeping the chicks all in the... Oh, there's a little cradle made out of them. I don't know. It might be an egg. Cute. And then this little egg, I think we may have seen that. So, anyway, there's quite a few in there. So, like I said, I'm really excited about getting started on my Easter cards. I'm not going to feel rushed. I've got plenty of time. Valentine's Day, it seems like I didn't get my supplies in time to really get enough made for people who wanted to mail them. So... I'm going to uh, get on it this year. And I didn't even have time <laughs> to mail out the ones that I usually mail to. So, anyway, we'll know. Try to get that stuff ordered as soon as you can. But you can't order it till it pre is presented, right? Okay. Just glad I've got those in there. I don't want to smoosh them up. This one. And this one, and one more went down, and this one. So I'm going to set these back in that box and lay that aside. Now the other things I've got are some dies. I have dies to start with. These are Anna Griffin, and you know, I hesitated to order these, but it is such a good concept. It really is a good concept. You've got all these little banner dies. And you've got all these little blank banners that you stamp. And then, of course, put the die as an overlay over it. And then you can cut it out perfectly. Now, then you've got all these little sentiments that you can fit on, you know, specific little dies. But my problem is... And it, it must be just me. When I use Anna Griffin dies, for some reason, mine always turn out too heavy. I try to go lighter, and I don't know. I'm going to have to get out my Misty and try to figure out how to stamp these so they don't come out. They almost look blurred, and it, it has to be that I am mashing too hard. Maybe these are a squishier type of... Uh, stamp than I'm used to and when you give it the least amount of pressure it wants to really smear down so I don't know I'm gonna have to work on those but I do like that concept because sometimes you need a uh, sentiment and you just don't have it now I will say <laughs> there is one that I wish would have been in here happy Valentine's Day Anna, I need a happy Valentine's Day, just a simple little banner stamp like this. I know I've got some of yours in other stamp sets, but I would really like to have a banner one that says, Merry Christmas, Happy Valentine's Day, Happy Mother's Day, Happy Father's Day, Happy Fourth of July. Some of those um, 
you know, sentiments we need on cards, but you don't make a whole package of those, or we don't need a whole package of those. And I don't want to order, you know, uh, maybe a whole card set just to get three or four specific um, sentiments. Okay, off my soapbox there. Now, the other <laughs> die I got, I'm real excited about this one. This one is uh, Diamond Press. Now, Diamond Press, they come out with some really cute things. And uh, I have a, a container that I keep their stamps and dies in. And this is a little bit smaller than I thought it would be. I mean, I knew it was going to be small, but uh, I think it's going to be really cute. I do. This is the Never Ending Card Die. Now, I have made one of these uh, without any type of die, and it turned out really good. It was a lot larger, but I also have the Anna Griffin Never Ending Card Card Making Kit. I have never attempted that yet, and I'm thinking that it had some kind of issue, so that kind of put me off of trying it because I thought, oh, I just don't have time to work on an issue, but I'll get it out, and maybe they corrected that issue before I got mine. I don't know, but anyway, this is the... Uh, die for the folding never ending card and if you're not familiar with that i'm sure they have a picture of that in here but it is the sweetest thing you just keep folding it and it gives you a different message or a different uh you know side to look at like this one would be oh, i'm trying to see how they would do show you this they show you how to place your stamps this would be for one card this is for another card and they show you how to attach this cutout to each other and cut it so when you fold it i'll have to do a tutorial on this you know you just keep folding it and it just keeps folding 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 giving you a different picture each time you fold it so with this you're going to get Oh my goodness, I didn't realize you got the whole alphabet. How cool is that? Oh, so you can make any word you want on there. That is really cool. I thought the words just came and you just stamp the words on, but you can actually make any words you want. You could put names on there. How cool is that? Okay, this one has done hip hip hooray. Looks like a birthday. And this one is happy, 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 happy anniversary. So every time you fold it, you're going to get a different place. And oh, this is like a handwritten note for the anniversary cards. So when you fold to that last page, you're going to read the sentiment. Oh, these are so neat. Be so creative. So as I said, you're going to get the alphabet. You're going to get the stamps that are this flower this stamp cut out flower another flower another flower 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 <laughs> a variety of of uh, hats that you can stamp and color in and then some balloons and here are some little flourishes here little decorations little things like that to put on there but the thing is that's really cool is for all of these stamps Let's see, pretty much, let's see what we've got here. For these stamps, you're gonna get the die cut for this flower. You're going to get the die cut for this flower, and this flower, and the balloons, and the hat. So these would just be stamped on. You won't need to cut those out, but I think that is really cool. It really helps when you have a little, die cut to help you stamp it out you don't have to fussy cut quite so much and if you have their uh, oh diamond press uh, what do you call it oh, diamond press embossing cut machine i don't know what they call it you know you get this little piece in there to help you sandwich it in the machine so anyway i'm gonna put these back in here maybe all right 
Okay, those over there. Now this dot I am so excited for. This is Anna Griffin's basket easel die. And I can see this, folks, with a lot of those little Easter embellishments oh, on the back. I'm not going to open this one up. She shows you lots of different ideas. And I have other dies of hers that do have Easter eggs uh, that I can um, cut out and put on there. Lots of flowers. The bow is a die here. And here you've got this little roll flower. Oh, how cute. That's a little curly flower. Does she have that on here? Oh, there it is. You can make this flower right here with the die. Of course, you've got your trim and the basket. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to making that one. I was excited to get that. I'm so glad I got it early enough. And then this is part of her auto ship. Uh, Baroque collection. So I wanted that. I'm going to look at here. <coughs> I'm sure when she shows some of these pictures, we'll see that used on there. Let me just take this out. I think there are several on auto ship. Now I didn't get the card making kit or anything like that. I don't know. I have so many card making kits right now I really need to get busy with. These are called 3D Baroque Frame Concentric Dies. So here are different ways she has made cards with those, different examples. Let's see, we don't have these little things, but that's really pretty on there. Very pretty. So that will make some pretty cards. Just lay that there. And this one I'm really excited about too. I'll probably use some of these on my Easter cards, but I mean, you can use these for sympathy cards, weddings. You can use these for weddings, for baby christenings or baptisms. Uh, yeah, these are gonna be really pretty. These are her 3D cross crosses dies. I have her other set of crosses and they are beautiful, but these, like she was saying when she showed them to you, they're so pretty when you cut them out. So detailed, it almost looks like jewelry. It's so engraved. Look at these, and these are the different designs. Of course, you have all of your uh, different dies for the background and they wouldn't necessarily have to be the Anna Griffin dies. I know Spellbinder, I have several of their dies that are very ornate and very pretty. Then on the back, it's going to show you which ones you're getting. So I'm going to be excited about that. This size, this size, I look at this larger one, little decorations that one and they all have a shadow layer so there's several pieces in there because each of those have a shadow layer behind them now the last die that I got I hesitated on this because I do have her hmm I think it might be a gatefold cake die but I really like this one I think even better this is a cake easel card but the way this one is designed I can see using that for lots of different things um, let's see what she's got on her sheet and then we'll see if she's got any ideas on there that I'm thinking about right <laughs> excuse me got a tickle in my throat today I'm gonna get a drink of water Oh, that's better. And let's see. Let's pull this out. Okay. So if you see these, very pretty. Let's see what she gives you. Oh, she's also giving you, in this die, you're getting three little roses that you can cut out. But she's also giving you this little stopper. Uh, die that you can put at the base of your cake 
to keep it from sliding. And sometimes, I don't know if that isn't large enough to write on. Sometimes I use her like sentiment blank cards to put on there as well. But I think this is so sweet because, okay, she's got this kind of looks maybe wedding-ish. I don't know. Maybe wedding-ish, Easter-ish. But I could see cutting out layers. I could see making a baby cake out of that. Putting a little giraffe on the side and things like that. I could see definitely a wedding cake or a layered birthday cake. Maybe put some candles on there. Uh, even go to a golden wedding anniversary or a silver wedding anniversary. Make it in silvers and, you know, pick a color to go with that. So I'm excited about this. I do like her easel card dies. Okay, the next thing from Anna Griffin. And, you know, actually, I thought I was ordering the 6x8 package. But that's okay. I know I'll use it. And um, I'm hoping these colors are a little bit different than some of the other colors that I've gotten as like the little um, 5 by 7s that come in some of her card kits. Let's pull these out and look at the colors. So you know sometimes the pink looks a lot pinker on TV than the pink that I actually received. And this looks, let me see if I can get my light over here. That looks pretty pink, doesn't it, guys? But when I'm looking at it, and maybe it's just my lights. I don't know. When I look at it, it almost has more of a coral look than that pink look. And sometimes I just really want that pink look. But um, let me see what it says on here. You're going to get 54 pieces. Oh, wow. Well, that's great. 12 by 12. Okay, so we're going to get this pinkish coral. This is a pale lavender. I like that. Because I think with some of the cards I'm going to be making, these colors will be really pretty. I love this green. I just absolutely love, love, love this green. Okay, I'm changing colors here. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, this is more of your olive green, I guess. And this is kind of a... Hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to check that phone a second. I know I've got to set up some physical therapy. I wanted to make sure they weren't calling on that phone. Let's see my other phone. This is a green also. Oh, no, actually, it's a friend wanting to know if I had birthday cards. And I'll just have to get back with her because I'm in the middle of making them and we'll have to see how soon she needs them. Okay, so this is kind of a, a mintier green. Hmm, or maybe this is gold. This could be gold. My lights make it look green. I bet it is. And then I've got this kind of a pale yellow. So we've got... Kind of that pinky coral, lavender, gold, kind of a greenish gold. And then here's your green. Here is your minty green. I don't have a blue in here. I was kind of hoping for a blue. And then I've got this uh, yellowy gold color. So that will keep me supplied with some pretty metallic paper. To make things with. I'm just going to set that up here. I can put that on my shelf. And the last thing I got, oh, I am so excited about this and I debated on this because I do have, I think, another kit of hers like this that I have not delved into yet. This one is called the Heirloom Lace Paper Crafting Kit. You get 24 12 by 12 cardstock sheets. 
24 five by seven cardstock sheets and 90 embellishments and 24 sentiments. Now we're gonna look in here. I was thinking this might be double-sided, but it doesn't say double-sided, so it, it probably isn't, but that's okay. And using the larger sizes, of course, if you're a scrapbooker, you can always make scrapbooks, and I need to get back in and do a few more of those. Just so hard to work it all in. But anyway, oh, here's the paper. Let's see what all of these little goodies are. Um, okay. So we've got sentiments. They're smaller, but look how pretty they're gonna go with that. This is uh this paper. A lot of it is gold foil. It is double-sided. A lot of this is gold foiled. So here's your You Make Me Smile, all your little sentiments in there that she gives you. And here are some ephemera. Let's take a peek at that. Okay, I have to look in here. All right, so we've got foiled butterflies, flowers, yeah, some just some little uh, decorations that are foiled. Okay, let's lay these there. Here we've got a couple, let me think, are these stuck together or? No, you get four of these to add on. And there's that whoop, little butterfly. And here are some pink roses. These little embellishments to layer. These for layering or closures, depending on what card you're making. Oh, I love the lavender. Thank you, Anna, for putting some lavender in there. So pretty and springy. Some more uh, layering pieces. Very pretty. These are all stickers. Let's see what went down. A little rose. So I'm going to put these all back in this little package. I'm going to get all these mixed up. I have to fold this so I don't get everything stuck on there. Okay, let's put these in here. And this one in here. Okay, so we've got sentiments, we've got embellishments and layering pieces, and oh my goodness, look at these flowers. I see lavender. These flowers are really sweet. These are sweet, sweet flowers. Gotta take a pick, quick peek at these. Take a peek. Okay. Here we've got Kind of a, a pale bluish color there. And they're actually showing up a little more vibrant on camera than they are. But these are really pretty, more of your neutrals. Pretty, that looks like a hyacinth. Oh, I need to get closer to my table. <laughs> I keep letting everything fall into my kitty cat's bed. Okay. Some of these, these are kind of a, a peachier. And this is the pinky. More of that. Here we've got some, looks like maybe some lilacs. Oh, don't you love lilacs? The way our weather's being this year, I hope we get some lilacs somewhere. I don't have a tree I gave up on, or a bush. I gave up on trying to grow lilacs. The weather in the springtime just didn't cooperate. Here's these little bouquets of little flowers. Looks like a lilac, some more of that blue, some more of that peachy. And looks like maybe a couple more different ones. Let me see if I can pull these out. Okay, these look like, these look like hyacinths too in the blue and then we've got them in the pink you can see that and these look like some that we've probably already looked like so but you've got a lot of these my goodness but you can never have enough right 
And as um, you, those of you who use the Anna Griffin supplies, you know that you're probably going to have things left over when you're finished. And they will go with anything else you try to make with her supplies. If you just have paper, you're going to make something. Well, you can use these that are left over because you just know they're going to work just fine. Now, we're going to look at the 5x7s uh, and just know that every 5x7, there is also going to be a 12x12 12 12 sheet that would go with it. Or that would match it rather so here we've got and i guess there's two of each one here's the pink foil on that side oh look at that that's a new print for me looks like a lacy flower and little rosebuds and here this one this is kind of the uh minty green and oh it's got the same thing uh, this is gold is that a it's kind of a very very light pink you can see that there and then on the back pink design this one has a very it it might be white i'm kind of getting maybe a light blue but i think it's white well no i think it's white and there's the lavender again that kind of minty Oh, that's pretty. Oh, and it kind of matches some of those flowers we saw. This one is in the gold. Pretty. Okay, this one was that, and this one's going to be the lavender. Pretty, pretty. And, oh, I love that. Isn't that pretty? And I'm going to get big sheets of that. Ooh, that's very pretty. See what's on the back of that. Oh, that's pretty. The pink, just a very simple, subtle pattern in the back. I bet this could be lavender. Oh, it's green. I like that. I do like green. In fact, I like pink and green a lot. Very pretty. Okay, let's see what this design is. A lot of nice colors for Easter, not just for Easter. Oh, I like that. That's the green and the pink and the green back here. And here's lavender. The lavender flowers. Very pretty. And this is the green. Just so pretty. I just have to look at her design sometimes and then this is the subtle double side and here's the pink i'm gonna guess pink on the back maybe green green i'm glad i like the green i love the pink and greens together and again that's that subtle pattern and then you've got this beautiful pattern of paper here so the thing i like about buying anna griffin paper i mean Granted, I paid more for this than I would if I went to Joann's or Michael's or somewhere and got a paper pad. However, the paper pads that I've been seeing lately, they, they really favor uh, scrapbook pages because they have such a large design on them. So I'm really happy to get something like this that I know I'm going to use it all. You know, there's none of it that I'm not going to use. And so I don't mind, you know, paying a little bit extra for that because I know I will use it. So anyway, that's my haul, ladies. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you will stay tuned as I attempt to make some of these. Like I said, I, I've been doing some sewing projects and I've got all my sewing supplies put away. And now it's time to bring out all of my card making supplies that will mean dies going through and picking out papers and you know getting little things in my mind about what i need to be doing so anyway thank you for joining me and until next time bye bye